everyone. So in this video, we're going to go over pyruvate oxidation, which is a really important step in cellular respiration. So we get pyruvate from glycolysis, which breaks down a glucose molecule into two pyruvate molecules. But what happens next? In aerobic conditions, when oxygen is present, pyruvate is going to get oxidized to enter the citric acid cycle. Here we have our pyruvate, which is a three carbon molecule made up of a methyl group, a carbonyl group, and a carboxyl group. Each of these functional groups gives pyruvate its unique characteristics. The first step is going to be the removal of the carboxyl group, and this is a process called decarboxylation. We have an enzyme called pyruvate dehydrogenase that is going to remove the carboxyl group, releasing it into the system as carbon dioxide. It also frees up two electrons. So once the carboxyl group is removed, we're left with acetyl, a two carbon molecule. This is the second step, which is called oxidation. The removal of the carboxyl group, I said it freed up two electrons, and those two electrons, they're going to be transferred to NAD+, which is going to reduce it to NADH and a single proton. After this, coenzyme A, it enters, and our acetyl group is going to bind to it, forming acetyl-CoA, which is now ready to enter the citric acid cycle. And that's pyruvate oxidation in a nutshell. If this helped, remember to like and subscribe for more simplified biology. Let me know in the comments what other concepts you want broken down. See you next time.